Hello, hello everyone. It's Shelly with Chalk Couture. I'm an independent designer. Today we have another demo. So come on in, relax, grab a cookie and some milk. And let's make a cute little sign. Uh, it'll actually look like a little envelope for North Pole Air. Say hello as you come on. I'll be with you shortly. Our text messaging system just went out. So we'll give it a minute for everyone to get notified. Almost ready. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to tonight's demo. It's Monday night. Gosh, weekends go so fast, don't they? <clears throat> Let's go ahead and make a cute envelope uh, as if we are sending Santa a letter. We're going to use the North Pole airmail transfer. All the links you need are in the description of the video. So if you need a link, the transfer or to our services it's all there for you let's go ahead and get all of this out um let's see so i think i'm gonna use the main part to santa the north pole i'm not gonna do from i suppose well we'll see i don't think i'm gonna do from um but i think i might do this little canceled stamp little piece and I'm definitely going to do the um, Christmas tree stamp. Hello, Mom. How are you? It's a late night for me. Went and got my hair done. Had to go and she could fit me in. All right, so let's get this cut up. Yeah, you just never know when they have openings, right? All right, so we're going to have it say, To Santa. I'm going to have it with the stamp in that corner. 
This is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Hmm. All right. And I was kind of thinking I would do the canceled stamp, but I don't know. I don't know. We may not have enough room here. I think we're not going to get too carried away with um, filling all the space. I think we're going to be good with just what we have here. Do I want to do this? I think we're going to leave it right like that. All right. Easy peasy. Well, thank you. Just shorter, just a little shorter, because when my hair gets long, it just pulls everything down. So my curls are coming back to life. Hair is a little lighter. So much needed trim. Okay, let's go ahead and get everything prepped. So I went ahead and I marked two little holes that I wanna punch. So I'm gonna take my power punch and I like to turn it upside down. And then I center that dot and we punch a hole. All right, and I didn't do it, usually I do it like about an inch in. This is three inches in and then a quarter inch up. Okay, so that's my holes. And then I think I'm going to leave it white like a an envelope. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to leave everything alone, except I'm going to wax it. So let me grab a paper towel. And then we're just going to lightly wax it. We're going to kind of fill in those little grooves with our wax so that we have a nice flat surface to chalk on. It is cold out there. Wow, and it's supposed to get super duper cold in the coming days. We may even have a light snow for Christmas Eve. We'll see, we'll see. I'll believe it when I see it because we don't normally have snow for Christmas. All right, so I applied it and we're now just buffing it. You can feel as the wax is getting buffed in, buffed off, however you want to look at it, okay, and then you can also tell, see if I can catch it, usually it'll have a nice, there we go, a nice shine to it too, all right, we are all set to go, we do not have to uh, do anything to our transfers, we don't have to fuzz it since we waxed, so we're gonna just actually write on the back. Okay, to Santa. This is from the North Pole Airmail. This is our stamp tree. I'm gonna say North Pole Airmail. Okay, those were the only two pieces, right? All right, so let's go ahead and do the big one first. Go ahead and take it off your backer sheet. And we're gonna keep this mostly to the left. We kind of line it up on the bottom there. And then we're gonna smooth that down. You don't want any wrinkles or buckles in your mesh. You want it nice and flat against your surface. 
sure there's nothing in the way of your mesh. Not sure what that is, but it does not want to come off. There we go. All right. Colors we're using today, Black Velvet, Forest, and Candy Apple. So I think I'm going to do two and the North Pole in black. Santa, of course, will be in red. And then we'll come over here and do our stamp. Unfortunately, I was kind of hoping it was going to be reversed. So wherever it's teal, right, the teal uh, transfer material, it will be white on your surface if your surface is white. I was kind of hoping the tree would have been the opposite so that we would have had a green tree. Um, I could... I could, hmm. I could do the outline in black and then do a whitewash or color it in with the green and then do white on top. Hmm. That would mean this will be white. We can give that a shot. All right, let's work on this first as we're thinking out loud here. Grab some transfer, some squeegees here. All right, let's do, let's use our black velvet first. So I'm going to grab a little bit and we're just kind of spreading it like peanut butter. On top of the words, the North Pole. When I use my squeegee upright, right, so it looks like this against my surface, I have a lot of leverage. I can spread it and I can pick up all that excess. So it kind of does two things at once. And then I'm gonna come here. Okay, so when I flatten it, I can apply it when I have it more upright. I can take my excess off and spread it if I have to. All right, let's get our candy apple open. Such a pretty color, red. All right, this is easy. All right, just watch you don't hit that black. Take off excess. Always offload in your jar. Okay, I can bring my excess down to whatever spots I've missed. All right. Offload in my jar. Hi, Mary. I am feeling definitely better still, sometimes just nasally. It could be, you know what, honestly, it could be allergies. I don't know. All right, then we're going to peel off. Look how nice that looks. Oh, my gosh. Red and black, so sharp. Let's go ahead and just gently blow this dry. We are keeping this super simple tonight. Making a sign that looks like our letter to Santa. This is our wish list to Santa. So I know it, right? I have so much to do. And we're just running, running, and running. Um, yeah, lots to do. Still need to finish up my cookies. I still need to decorate my gingerbread tree, which I can't believe I haven't done yet. That's just not like me at all. Usually I have that up and decorated, although I have two now <laughs> because I have so many ornaments. I divided it in two. 
So, all right, let's bring this guy. Oops, actually turn it around here. Let's bring this guy right about here. Okay, spread that down. Now we're going to uh, try to attempt to make the tree green. We're going to attempt it. So let's do this. I'm going to go around and just do this little outline of the stamp. All right. So let's do that carefully. Is everybody ready? I think all the all the gifts are bought and wrapped. I may have to make one or two. Okay. So we know we want the outline to be black. So that's what we did there. All right, we're gonna take this off. Oh, how cute is that? All right, let's get that dry. Then what I'm thinking is I'm going to do the inside green. We're gonna to try to paint that green. And then I'm going to layer a wax layer on top, okay? To kind of seal that green, because then when you put white, on top of a color, the color underneath tries to seep up. So we're gonna see what happens here, okay? Make sure that's good and dry. Um, how do I wanna do this? Trying to find a little brush. Not sure where my tool is. Okay. So I think I'm going to take this little brush and we're going to go inside as much as we can with our forest. I might, I think I'm going to get it wet. Okay, try to dab off here. Let's pick up some of our green. And we're just going to paint inside. I don't want to go over those black lines. Because I don't want to have to do that part of it again. I just want to get this nice and green, a nice layer. Because we're trying to make the green, tr the tree green. But I have to have it close enough. Uh, so it works. All right, so let me do a quick. Trying to get it blended. It wants to keep changing on me here. All right. 
I have to be really light-handed here. All right, guys, I think we're gonna just leave it like this before I take all of it off. Yep, everything is wrapped for us. Need to finish up some cookies. We do, we make Buckeyes and those are time consuming. So I need to make those still. And there's a recipe I wanted to try. I don't, I haven't made it yet. Okay, let's get our wax. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to take a little piece here. I'm going to be very light-handed with the wax. And I'm going to warm the board up a little bit more here. That will help our wax spread nicely. Trying to just stay on the green because I don't know if it's going to bleed on me or not. Okay, did a little bit. Okay. Just ever so lightly. Ever so lightly. Okay. Now I have to get my whites. And let's see if how I thought this was going to turn out to see if it turned out. So let's go ahead and put this back on. You know what? I might wash it too because I want to be able to see where those lines line up. So, got a brand new thing of wipes. I don't need necessarily need to get all that black off, but I want to get most of it off so I can see what I'm doing here. Black is difficult to see through, believe it or not. So is my white. Sometimes my white, I think is too thick or something. And it's actually hard to see. Okay, so I'm trying to clear out that mesh as best I can. Not trying to get the staining off, just trying to get that clean. Okay. Let's kind of take some of that moisture off. Okay. I'm gonna do it upside down so it's closest to me so I can see what I am doing. Let's get this. You see how there's like a little border I left because there's a little bit of a border. Hopefully we won't see any white. A little crooked. Little crooked. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, it looks like we've completely covered it. Looks like our green is good. Hmm. I don't know if this is going to work. We may have a little bit of an overlap. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to try to stay within that 
edge of our stamp. I think, well, we'll see. Maybe I'm getting the inverse of the transfer confused here. Let's just see how it turns out. Okay. All right, back in the jar. Are you guys ready? Eek. Yeah, see, I think I painted too much of the green, but that's kind of cute still. I needed to get my green in more. I only needed to really paint under where the tree would have been, but still, it's good. I'm all right. I'm good with that. I could actually come in if I wanted to and color in uh, within the border, color that all in black. We could try to scrape it away with our detail tool. Hmm. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get that dry. Let's see. Let's just see what our detail tool will do for us here. Oh, I need to dry that first. <laughs> I should have just done under wherever the green was going to be, the green tree. I was thinking that white rectangle was going to be a little bit bigger than I thought. Or smaller than I thought, I guess I should say. All right. It's cute, though. Yeah, I fear that the detail tool is not going to be of much help to us. I can scrape a little bit away, but it does still leave like a light green. Um, I could try to paint within that. Hmm. Try to paint the green and not black. Or use a black sharpie we could do that or I have a black chalk marker let's see do we think we're gonna ruin this do we do we old black shock marker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I clicked it one too many times and it went all the way up. Whoopsie. Okay. Let's do... I think that would have worked though because that looks somewhat decent. So... I think I have another one of these. Let me look. Let me look. Worst case, we use a black Sharpie. Okay, I never did open my second one. Let's open our new one here. Because I think that would look cute if we outlined it in black. We shall see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's happening. It's happening now. It's happening. <laughs> so while we're waiting for me to get this open, um, if you're club members, don't forget you get an extra 10% off of the... Um, 
the Valentine's treat bag kit, chalkmate kit. Um, so whenever you get a marker, you will have a white tip on it, no matter what the color. So if it's black or white or silver or gold, it comes with a white tip. And they just say to pump it so you can see it starts coming down. Okay, and also the nib, which is the tip of your marker, you can take that out and reverse it. So there's a fatter nib, and then there's a thinner nib on the other side. They call it nib. All right, now let's see. So I did, don't forget, we did wax this, so sometimes the markers don't sit real nice on the um, wax. So we'll do the best we can here. And I'm kind of going over that green too. I do like this outlined like this. What do you guys think? It's coming out all right, I guess, huh? Coloring it in. Next time I'll know, right? Just to do just where the tree would go. To get to the reverse effect, right? So had we done green on that transfer, Wherever you see the white box, that would have been green and the tree would have been white because of the background. Because our surface is white. Sometimes you gotta sit and think about like, okay, <laughs> if it's screen, the mesh, that's the color of whatever paste you're gonna use. This is not turning out so bad. It's cute. Okay, just a little bit, a little bit to go here. Trying to cover up the green that we went over. Nice big outline in black. Try to fill in some spots here. I like it. Try to go over this line here. Cover up as much as that green as we can. you don't have a steady hand, use a piece of tape to cover up what you don't want black. Just trying to take my time here. Okay. Yay, I like it. I think it turned out so cute. 
I do too. I love it. Okay. Whew. That part's done. Now let's just put a hanger on it and it'll be all set. Okay. Let's see, what kind of nut do I wanna put on the bottom here? It does look better. Much better. Okay. Mm, yeah, I don't like that. Hang on, guys. I didn't like that knot. I cannot get this knot out. So you know what happens? Whoop, all gone. Okay, let's try that again. Um, how do I wanna do this? The only thing I don't like about our trimmer, our, or our power punch, is it really does make a big hole. It's about a quarter inch hole. Maybe a tad smaller. Um, I wish it was a little smaller. And I don't know if any of these, if you can find one on the market somewhere else that's a little bit smaller. We get some transfer tape, just a little bit. And we're gonna put it around the end. That will help string our beads a little easier. Okay, so we got red, white, then a different kind of green, and then white, then red. All right, so that's how it'll be on one side, and then we'll bring that over. So same process. Red. White. Green. White. Red. Oops. Well, they won't be together when we're done with it. All right, now we can take that tape off. Tie it here. I think a black wire would have been nice to hang too. That would have been a good material to use. All right. Oh my goodness, have fun. To Santa, the North Pole. Isn't that darling? I really wanted to use this, the canceled stamp. I just didn't, I don't know that, I think this just would have gotten away. I think that would have been too much. Would have been too much. Next time, right? It is so cute. So, so cute. So how cute is that? A cute little sign. If you have, um, if you have a collection of Santas, 
That would be cute to hang by them. If you have uh, maybe like a, a setup where you have all your Christmas houses, that would be pretty. So many ways to display it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's clean up everything here. Everything's water soluble. I'll get it all washed up. So it's all ready to go the next time. And until then, thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. I truly appreciate you being here.